Hello all, so what I'm going to do is run you through how the basics of my modular building pack works and how to change things like brick colour, uh, windows, etc. So what we've got here is we've got the modular pack, this is just a normal scene here and um, if we go to say, we'll choose this window here um, these are all separate pieces so as you can see if I drag that out these are all separate from each other. You can build this all into one blue print if you want, but that's down to, to you um, and your decision. So yeah, we click on our build in here, and then in the right hand panel, details panel, we have these sections. So we've got materials that I've set here, um, other, which is your blind color, and your meshes, which are your window uh, types here. So what we can do here is um, we, blind color, I'll start with that, that just allows you pretty self-explanatory change the blind cover color um, so we'll leave that green and then we've got um, our wood color which is our wood frame color so what we can do is drop this down type in wood and I've got I think three or four different types there you can obviously add your own materials into here um, they're based off of a uh, trim sheet which you look at the wood trim sheet you get an idea of how that's laid out um, so yeah um, then we've got here stone edging which is this sort of um, these areas here so we can drop that down and go um, stone edge Ooh. stone have I spelt it edging um, so we can say make that red um, <coughs> excuse me um, our wall color so we can say switch that to red and you'll see that these this isn't faded but this is faded that's to do with vertex painting I'll show you how that works in a minute um, so our surround here that is again powered by wall so we can go um, say uh, choose that one you can see here it's changing these um, so down here we've got our window frame uh, window is it, what is it frame panels I'm not sure types so what we can do is drop these down just type window and um, I've got, I think, three different types in here. You can obviously add your own in if you need to. What I've tried to do is, you'll notice this one's partly open, that one's fully open, this one's closed. Um, try to keep them as they are, um, because you could open this one and this one has no blind behind it, unless you want to put your blinds behind it. You can do whatever you want with them, but I do, I think I should have a variation for every type. So bear that in mind. Um, so we can go like that. So two, four, so we can go one, four, and uh, two, we can go one, three, and then one one so there you go we've changed our window types there obviously you can have like you saw there we can say well we want this one to be a different one um, so we'll go three one um, so yeah that's that for that now uh, vertex painting this is what I'll do is I'll drag um, just go over to here so we get a bit more of an idea and what I'm going to do is drag in a blueprint and we'll go for our uh, where should we go? This one here. So what we've got here is this is just our standard um, uh, first initial blueprint when you drag it in with nothing done for it. And what we're going to do here is under material, which is the material for the brick wall, we'll type. Uh, we'll go to our materials here and masters. Um, and you see there's one name vertex. So in, if you go to normal materials, you'll get MI wall two three four etc. And um, you'll see here these have got vertex after them. So what we'll do is we'll drag the vertex into that and you'll see here it goes completely different straight away so what this is this is uh, overlaying the layer um, the vertex painting layer over the top of the original brick color so what we can do is if you go to the paintbrush here and we want to untick red and blue and I believe yeah so white white is get rid of um, show the original uh, brickwork and black setting this to black paint it back so what we'll do is you say see there so what we'll do is um so we're going to get white and we can start um always remember to initially click this otherwise the vertex painting won't work um so bear that in mind sometimes it, it can get a bit annoying when you're trying to trying to paint and you end up clicking on say the floor here or something like that so if you're not painting generally that's what it what it is um it can be a little bit intensive um depending on obviously how how big the the thing is you're working on etc so then you can um also do this uh, for the window surround so we'll go like a uh, click on that um uh, we'll say what we're going to do here we'll do it on the top here uh do that so you can see here straight away that's done something initially and you should be there we go so yeah that's painting it off um 
or raising it essentially. So yeah, there you go. Um, do that down here too. Um, so yeah, that gives you an idea of what you can do there. Uh, you can see here, when I scroll back over here, um, I've used this to sort of, it, it's very subtle, but it is there. Oh, that's a bad example. Very subtle, but it is there. Um, and it just adds that sort of, if you look at this one here, this has had no vertex painting on it, and it just looks pristine clean. And um, whereas this one looks probably a little bit more natural because you would get dirt on a building, um, obviously over the years, um, paint fades, etc. cetera. Um, here, you've got it a bit more dirtier because it's meant to be a more worn down building. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, so what we've got here, is what we'll do next is how the modular works so go to our blueprints these are uh, blueprint prefabs that i've set up you can set up your own or under the meshes the, all the meshes are here for you to create your own if you want to i've tried to do this to help you to obviously make things build faster and um, so what we'll do is we'll set first our grid to 10 now this works off of 10 or 5 generally i start with 10 because it just it, it doesn't it just works better that way. You can use five if you want, but I find you're, you're too busy trying to line it up. And what we'll do is we'll say, right, um, we're going to drag this in. And then what we're going to do is drag our initial wall in. Um, just obviously check that they are snapped to do each other, which they are. And then we can just continue. So snap that one. Obviously, it is it's one of those. It's a bit, it can be a bit finicky depending on what you're doing, but it's just part of it. But obviously, as you can see here, very quickly, um, we've yeah, very quickly we've created a uh, building here or building front. And um, what you can do is obviously you can make a complete building into a prefab. So rather than having to do this click, drag, drop, click, drag, drop, you could have a building here that you literally drag into a scene and it could give you something like one of um, one of these over here. So it's, it's ready made. But obviously bear in mind that that can put a lot of strain on your um, scenes. So, you know, be, be used, used cautiously when you're doing it. Um, but yeah, hopefully that gives you a little idea of how this works. If you need any help, please feel free to contact me and also maybe subscribe to my YouTube channel as I have little YouTube videos up there that can often help people um, if they get stuck on stuff. So thanks a lot.